right. So, been doing a little bit of work. All the wiring's put together, and I'll have a tack gauge. So my clip that came down that's supposed to connect to the green wire is broken right here. So I just put a bill on the end of the clip, put a wire in there. Uh, also did a tune-up, new plugs, new wires. They're all in, looking good. All the wiring's out of the way, put up. Uh, probably about to take it for a little cruise. Anyway, got the tack put in there. So, we'll throw some cameras on it, take it for a quick cruise. Uh, make sure everything's running pretty good, see how it feels. Throw the seats down real quick.
I made it back from the ride around. Uh, I had a pretty good time. It did what it's supposed to do four link fuel. 75 times better. Like, before any time I'd hammer on it or just goose it a little bit, the leaf spring would actually wrap up and then the uh, rear end, like the pinion and everything would wrap up and it would bind the U-joints. And I think that's the reason why I went through, like I've rebuilt that old drive shaft four or five times and I think that's what was leading to it, like slinging the caps out of the U-joints and just breaking things was because it wasn't able to hold it. So now whenever I get on it, you can kind of feel the butt of the truck just kind of sink in just a little bit, which is good. It's transferring some of the weight, which is what I wanted it to do. So it's sinking down just a little bit, and it's actually not, like before whenever I could actually get it to a burnout, I could just drive that thing out, and it would go through the gears, and it would only go, you know, 15, 20 miles an hour, and I'd be in third gear and still doing a burnout because none of the weight would transfer. Uh, and some of those burnouts, you see it whenever I turn that, it would light up that one tire and then as soon as the truck straightened out it would throw some of that weight back there again and it'd actually hook up and start riding out. So pretty impressed. I love everything that's going on right now. So I mean we have a small leak at the end of the transmission but it's been there since this whole shindig started. It's at the tail shaft where that ring is or that seal is and that's because of once again throwing all those U-joints out and it beat the heck out of it. So that's another thing that's going to have to get taken care of. But it kept oil pressure the entire time. That whole time riding around only got to 190 degrees, never got over 190 degrees. Whenever we got back to the garage, uh, because my... So here's the vent or whatever that's supposed to go to the bottle off the radiator, like the overflow. Normally, after romping on it for a little bit, and you bring it back and it blows over. Cause for whatever reason, I guess this water expanding, and today it didn't do it, so that even that's gone, so that's good. Um, I do feel like I made it a little lame, like maybe the timing's a little bit too retarded, but once again, for what we're doing right now, everything's fine. So, I mean, it's not. I got new plugs in it, new wires on it, so if it's just a little bit retarded, it's not going to be too bad, because I mean it picks up and it holds itself pretty well. Uh, Right now it seems to be wanting to shift at uh, 4,000 RPM, which is a pretty good little number, you know. I don't think these motors rev out to a whole lot, so, you know, twisting it up to 4,000 and letting it go into the next gear is a pretty good little jump. Uh, it's enough to scare the bejeebus out of you due to the fact that, you know, your toes are literally four inches away from the bumper. So, all in all, it's been a pretty good one. Uh, this is going to be the end of the video. If y'all watched up at this point, Thank you very much. Y'all are helping me out. And uh, I would love to, you know, see what y'all think of the project, of the build. Uh, next thing's coming up is probably going to be, you know, throw an old Lincoln Locker in the rear end or see if I can find a good spool that's not, you know, too expensive. I can find one for maybe for a couple hundred bucks or so. Maybe we'll put a spool in it. If not, put a Lincoln Locker in it. And then uh, the space between the gears, we'll fill that in with a, a piece of flat stock and actually weld the flat stock to it to keep it all. That way it's not just welded. It's actually going to have something to keep it, you know, symmetrical and everything else. Um, for the U-joint, only thing we did was, or I did, was I pretty much just tacked it, you know, just to, just for like a couple of cruises. And the thing doesn't shake, doesn't vibrate too bad, so I might just finish the weld out, and then I'm still going to send it to a shop to get it scaled and get it weighted and then balanced and everything like it's supposed to be. And then I'll let them finish up that aluminum one as well. So, well, other than that, that's the end of the video. Thank y'all. Y'all have a great day. You know, more to come. Now we got it back on the ground. You know, I just put 20 bucks gas in it, which doesn't mean crap anymore. However, the dude at the store loved the truck. Thought this thing was a cool thing he seen. So, you know, good things to keep coming, hopefully. So, thank y'all. Have a great day.